Hi beautiful souls, this is Archana with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming you all to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for the Twin Flame community to look at what are the energies that are surrounding the Twin Flames in the second half of June to see what is really transpiring around within the lives, hearts, minds of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and to see where we are in the third dimension, in the third dimension reality, what are the steps that uh, each of the twins is taking towards bringing union within their hearts and then bringing that union in the physical. So let's begin. Second half of June, angels. What is the energy surrounding the twin flames? Mr. Keela, crossing bridges, wise leader, grounding and watching the clouds. Let's have a look at this. So I'm feeling like uh, the twins are going through some period of daydreaming uh, that's that's wonderful all of us really want to lie back in that hammock and relax and watch the sunset the sunrise it actually sounds and looks very tempting but what I am seeing here is that there is a sense of ease and I'm seeing this in the spirit realm. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that the uh, there are signs and synchronicities that are around and the twins are tapping into that and really allowing the spirit to just be, to sail, to calmer waters and just watch watch for the signs and synchronicities and see this is all in nature and so is this one so in the second half we're being asked really to connect deeper with mother earth near the element of water the element of earth and again i'm drawn to signs and synchronicities i'm feeling like the twins are going to receive some signs on the progress on the next stage of the journey when they are out in nature. Perhaps some of you will be going back and delving deep into where you've come from, your roots, connecting deeper to your roots, your ancestors. And perhaps there may be messages that will come in through your ancestors. This one I'm feeling for sure for the Divine Feminine Collective that the Divine Feminines have been really listening into their intuition, connecting with the element of Earth and they are now rising and standing in their personal power as they have honored their light, overcome the obstacles they are serving as this guiding light and beacon of light for others that's what I'm seeing here. You see, this is so synchronistic with these two cards. It says here, crossing bridges, that it is time for healing, for connecting, for mending, and for releasing. And this could also be the healing, reconnecting, and mending, and releasing within the Twin Flame Collective. Perhaps there will be a meeting that takes place that you meet your twin in the physical and when you do connect and reconnect there may be some things that will be mended you'll release the past because I'm seeing with this bridge is one person crossing over to the other side I'm feeling this to be a we are overcoming the two ends of a bridge right there are two different corners the divine masculine the divine feminines i'm feeling as if when we are crossing the bridges that there is a coming closer so i, I don't want to say union but there is we are bridging the gap is what i'm feeling with this one we're bridging the gap 
within the collective. And through all of this, and look at what's emerging. This is beautiful. <sighs> Divine Feminines, I'm feeling this for you, is that there's tremendous healing energy that's flowing through you and within you and around you. There is this deep wisdom that you're connected innately. You are connecting to the innate wisdom, the cosmic wisdom, wisdom of the earth, the wisdom of the cosmos within you. And with this work that you've been doing, you are not only serving as this beacon of light, you are this healer, you are this goddess, walking in your light, your power, your beauty, embracing what is all of knowledge and sharing that light and that love with others. And I'm also feeling that the twins right now are protected and there is healing energy that is surrounding the Twin Flame Collective. That's what I'm feeling. Such beautiful cards. See what I'm what we're getting here is tremendous, tremendous synchronicities and uh, powerful messages that for both the twins they are now understanding and appreciating the journey, their own life here on earth. Whether they are in union or not in union, physical union when I'm talking about. You know, I was drawn to this pink colored rose that she's looking at and look at today I felt called to I got this little bouquet this weekend by some family members and look at this pink flower so I was actually appreciating all the flowers and I wanted these fresh flowers to be here part of the reading and this has just come straight in this watching the clouds resting and appreciating as we are going with the flow allowing the events not to deter us but to know when to scale back and when to take action. And I'm really feeling like the Divine Feminine here specifically has really, really appreciated her journey, her life, and all of life. And there's a lot of reflection. And as she's doing that, there's a lot of honor. There's a lot of self-worth and an opening of the heart chakra I'm seeing here for the Divine Feminine. And what's gonna be required and asked of and what is really happening as we are connecting in nature, not only about the first message that came in about connecting with the roots, I'm also feeling here, and this one is for the Divine Masculines, especially for the Divine Masculines, that you're going to be able to tame that lower energy, the lion energy, tame it with the energy of the spirit so that the strength is no longer just brute strength, but it is angelic. There's a softness of your expression, your view of the world. There's a taming of that aggressive energy that's going to be coming to surface. And um, you're going to be experiencing how to bring that in balance. And for those who are going to be going through a more of activation of the aggression, the solar plexus, and all of that energy, you're being asked to connect in nature because that will help to tame that down, temper this energy, temper this energy. It's very important for us during this time to temper all our energies. This is beautiful. I mentioned this about the Divine Feminine. You are a beacon for others, and look what we got here. Door to personal health healing and happiness i'm trying to read it upside down here door to personal healing and happiness is opening as you are stepping more and more in your role as this 
divine leader as a beacon of light it's going to bring in tremendous blessings and you are bringing in blessings in the world through your energy divine feminine and I talked about crossing the bridges between the feminine and the masculine and I'm seeing here here's this here is this magician and the mirror mirror your divine mirror there's a bridging of the gap there is the fire and there is the element of air the spirit so we are merging two polar energies there is a merging and a crossing of the bridges between the two that's taking place in the second half of June and I did say that this is what I'm picking up for the Divine Feminine Collective. Right? This is how I'm seeing and feeling the energy of the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine has really been applying herself, bettering herself, walking more of the light worker path, healing her past wounds, opening her art chakra. She's been looking at how can I bring more healing, love and light in the world? What is it that I need to learn, do, progress, improve upon to be this, to be this? Perhaps some of you are in the stages for where this is going to unfold for you. And for this to unfold, you're being asked at this time to follow your intuition, follow your heart's desires, and see where it takes you when you're connecting in nature when you're just simply watching the clouds looking and being in the present moment appreciating yourself bringing in that connection to the divine source and as you're bringing in the connection to the divine source there's transformative energies around you and you'll become this not through this i'm feeling like some of the divine feminines those who are watching this are going to be speakers that's how you're leading is through speaking I'm seeing that energy of speaking like you're teaching someone could be writing books too could be writing books too getting others to think that's the energy I'm picking up right now I want to look at Let's look at some terror messages here, angels, for the second half of June for the twins. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, massive beginning, massive new beginnings. So um, there is deep clarity that's coming in for the Divine Feminine. And I'm also seeing that as the Divine Feminines are rising in their power bringing forth their healing energy bringing forth and stepping into their soul purpose the divine is bringing this inspiration this guidance towards the divine masculine collective for them to really appreciate their life their journey and to simply be there is a reconnection i did mention that there is a reconnection that I'm seeing on the cards here. There is this is the Six of Cups, and I feel like it's the Divine Masculine that's going to um, reconnect with the feminine energy. This is a strong connection, and maybe some of you will meet outdoors. Um, whatever is transpiring outside, there is 
some sort of a meeting that may take place or you may feel a connection or hear your twin see your twin feel your twin um, energetically when you are connecting in nature you may get a call you may receive an email or something but there is definitely something in nature when you're going to reconnect there's a reconnection in nature that's taking place maybe as things are opening up you meet your twin and this could this could be a random chance meet random chance meet even though generally this is not the energy of the six of cups that's what i'm feeling in this point um, there is all this journey, Divine Feminines, I talked about this, that this is what I'm picking up as you, leading, and it's opening up this door, this is the spiritual door, to you see the rainbow blessings and the spirit coming in to bless you, for being, for being what, look at this, this is the ten of wands, heavy burdens, you've been carrying a lot of burdens, you've been really working hard on that, you didn't just become a leader by not doing the work. This was tremendous, tremendous amount of work. So this may not resonate with all the Divine Feminines, depending upon where you are in your stage of awakening and of healing and bringing union within. So for those who have been doing this work for a while, and they have been really carrying and pushing through, pushing through, pushing through, through all of those energies, of lack and heavy burdens and responsibilities all of that is going to be rewarded there is a new cycle birthing for you this is tremendous growth tremendous happiness and it is a blessing that's coming to you blessing not just one blessings coming to you I talked about crossing the bridges here. You're looking at this. Let's look at this. Oh, I dropped my crystal. The crossing of the bridges. And we talked about merging of the two. Look at all of them are showing two and two. Two. This is the card of transition. So I'm really feeling like I, I did mention, right? I'm seeing like a reconnection here in the second half of June. There will be a reconnection where conversations will take place reconciliation of some sort will take place but right now for some of the twins it may still be a period of transition because the bridge is are uh, being crossed let's have a look at this one There's a massive new beginning I mentioned here, over here, and this is what this is reflecting like as you've stepped in through the inner work, opening of the heart chakra, embodying this light body energy, this is the new beginning that's coming forth for you, for the Divine Feminine. And this is a brand new solid foundation, and I'm feeling this for you in your workspace, in your relationships, in your energy. So you've brought a lot of balance within your energy field and that is leading up to tremendous amount of blessings coming your way. Let's look at what is the energy surrounding the Divine Masculines in the second half of June, Angels. Reconciliation. We had Six of Cups here. We got another Six of Cups definitely want to reconnect with the divine feminine and i saw the high priestess which went back in okay so um there's there's definitely reconciliation on the cards here and what are they going to reconcile with all that heartache heart heartache that has taken place that they caused you that they went through and all that separation there is a reconciliation about that they have been working really hard on creating a stronger financial security for themselves so that they can be the provider so that they can be in their masculine role and they also want to work hard towards this connection i didn't see this card come in because that's their ultimate wish fulfillment that's their ultimate wish fulfillment 
Okay, so if that's the energy of the Divine Masculines, what's the energy of the Divine Feminines? Oh, I have one more card. I'm sorry. This one had fallen before this one, and that is this whole energy of lack. I did say about them working really hard on the financial, because all the events that are taking place around us, many of the Divine Masculines have been hit financially. And because of that, there is that sense of abandonment, lack, and loss financially. There is a destabilization that's taking place for a lot of the Divine Masculines where they had their sights high in a certain direction to go but that's not what was transpiring and you know the whole tower came crumbling down and they're feeling like that sense of lack so there's that rebuilding I'm feeling that's taking place um, let's look at what I was uh, gonna ask Nestis what is the Divine Feminine at Angels what is their energy in the second half of June I think I already saw that, but I'll take a few cards, please. If any energies want to come through, okay. I think that's plenty. Thank you, angels. We got the healing over there. This is the star card. Beautiful, divine feminine, vulnerable, serving as this beacon of hope and light, starlit in the entire universe through your energy hope and inspiration you trust in the divine you trust in this process your energy is balanced your energy is balanced it's coming close to balance where you love yourself anything less than and equal is not going to make the cut it ain't making the cut no matter who or what it is if it is not equal there is not emotion and love and understanding you're not allowing for that in your energy field okay because there's a tremendous amount of healing that you've been doing and taking place that's beautiful beautiful divine feminines I am so proud of you so given this what are the Divine Masculines feeling towards the Divine Feminine in the second half of June? Wow, so many cards. Okay. All right, the first one that I come out on the feeling is they recognize that the Divine Feminines have really been doing their work and standing in their power. And they're so independent and they have so much self-worth so they're feeling her shining and glowing just like that star do you see that yellow star up there yeah that's how they see you that's how they're feeling for you divine feminines and they've been feeling a little bit out of balance for themselves trying to balance their finances and the emotions and they feel kind of lost when they are not in communication with you, when you are not in their energy field. I'm really picking that up right now. And they know and recognize your worth, what you've brought. Right now, what they're feeling is they're trying to seek guidance. They're healing from that past wound that was caused to them through the karmics, through this connection that they caused you whatever they cause you is what they feel too that's what twin journey is so they're healing from that they're seeking higher guidance on what should i do next my finances are off how how do i how do i bring myself back in balance dear god okay so right now they're at an impasse they they don't know which direction to go they don't know how to make that direction but they are holding all their mental thought patterns on hold is being on rest. So they're feeling the emotion. They're feeling the depth of the emotions. They're feeling quite stuck right now. They're trying to gain more perspective on how to move forward. Because what they feel is this 11-11. There's the stability safety love abundance happiness joy peace a coming home 
a coming home, a sense of coming home is what they feel. While they're trying to balance and feel the other, other aspect of their finances. So based on all of this, angels, uh, what are the possible action steps that the Divine Masculine is going to take towards their Divine Feminine in the physical, in the third dimension, the second half of June? Possible steps, action steps. Third card. All right, I want to take a little bit more clarity. So we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Um, what is this Eight of Swords and the action steps? Where is this entrapment? What is this entrapment? What is the sense of entrapment in the mind? Okay, thank you, angels. So what I'm feeling is the steps for the Divine Masculines is that they really want to bring that stability back, which they feel with the Divine Feminine, which is like, this is the Ten of Pentacles, the ultimate happiness on the material, you know, everything, your family, your dogs, your kids, and um, a happy home, the forever, ever after. Just beautiful happiness on all levels, on a material plane. Okay, they really want to take steps towards that they really want to mature and bring that in that's the step they want to take here comes here comes the part which i must be open with and that is they're waiting for that right time they're still waiting they've made the decision they're waiting for the right opportunity to bring to you something but they don't know how they don't know how, right? Because this is what they're feeling in their heart. They don't know how. They don't know how because they're feeling so trapped. They're so trapped. We got that. Do you see this energy here in their heart? Eyes are blindfolded. This is in the action space, blindfolded, right? This is self-defeating. We all know that. That this is our self-created thought patterns. And each one of us has the ability to release ourselves from our thinking pattern because our thinking patterns what's create our reality right so we can open this bondage and be free so i did ask for clarity on this part on what are they what are they feeling entrapped about they're entrapped about how to make and how to build and rebuild they want the reconciliation they really want it it's on the cards they want to know how they can build and rebuild again. Things are not very clear. They're still in the dark. It's still in the works. There's lots of threes here. So it's still in the works. When things are still in the works, we really don't know how it's going to pan out. You want the three to become a stable energy. Four is a stable energy, right? So what I'm feeling here is in the second half of June, um, the Divine Masculines, for some of you, are still going to be a bit of wishy-washy. They want to reconnect, but they may not be able to reconnect because they're feeling, um, they may just start to tap into this self-sabotaging behavior and uh, analysis paralysis, I don't know. Things are still not very clear. I'm seeking for clarity. I, we did get an Ace of Swords here. So, um, there is a bit of a mixed message that I'm feeling here that some of the divine masculines may be able to rise out of this. There is clarity that's coming in to to bring forth and help the divine masculines through this journey in the second half of June. But like I always mention, this is a plan of, of free will and we must each take steps towards what we are guided to. But the steps is what we must take individually. So I do want to uh, take a few more messages and see uh, the journey ahead for the Divine Masculines on if they're feeling the sense of entrapment and um, looking for the right opportunity and getting for this uh, new insight on how to move forward, dear angels, what might, what might assist the Divine Masculines in bringing this clarity in? Well, interesting what might assist and this is an illusion the uh, the card of illusion the moon so they are traversing the 
illusions they have to break free from this barrier this barrier the third dimension barrier and this clarity is coming in but they must walk this path that's what i'm feeling here they must walk this path they must walk this path so i have another question angels this is for some i know they want to reconcile and some but some will not have the courage or take the steps guided by the spirit to reconcile with the divine feminine i also want to seek messages for the ones who are going through this period of contraction they know that this divine feminine is their heart's desire they recognize and see her in that light she, they see her in that leadership role they're connecting a lot more in nature to draw in more guidance for these divine masculine angels for the ones who are ready to fulfill their heart's desire i'd like to ask what steps are they going to take in the third dimension in the second half of june angels for the ones who want to beautiful so the second message for the ones uh, for the divine masculines those who are recognizing this journey and they are tapping into their feminine element and they recognize that this is what they really must do they want to do this is the second this is the important part of the journey they are ready to come forward and speak passionately share all that has gone on with you with them between you and them between them and the karmic and all everything really really cannot contain themselves in speaking they really want to manifest a new beginning for those who are looking at this as their wish fulfillment well all the divine masculines over here who we are tapping to are recognizing it there's one thing in recognition and then there's a second in taking action and steps towards it we can look at this flower and say this is beautiful and then we could just let that one be like yeah i would love to have it but i don't know if i can just cross over and get that i don't know if i can cross that bridge and get over do note that they're being guided and supported and they're they're being all situations around them are going to be created in a way in which it is going to guide towards the union but the speed quote unquote the speed of union in the physical will depend upon the amount of resistance right if you're resisting uh, uh, we're putting these flowers we're putting this in but you've got to take that step but you're taking a way long time to take that step that means you're resisting then the longer is the time in bringing that union in the physical okay okay i'm trying to be gentle with this but that's the truth um so for the those who are recognizing and this is in their awareness they know that this is you know ultimate wish fulfillment they're ready to bring this magic they want to create this magic with you divine feminines and they recognize that they are the ones who must create this new reality this is a thing of the past and i really want to bring balance and justice in my life because we got this as a justice card so some of them may need to break ties from existing relationships or work or comics and i am seeing something legal in here so there may be some papers that they're signing in and finally saying okay you know what i need to end this to start this cycle so that's a decision that some of the divine masculines will be making not for all for those that this is the heart's desire they they want to bring this balance in their life they they really want to experience and bring this balance in their life and that can only be ultimately achieved with you the divine feminine so they want to create this magic and bring that magic back and be that magician to bring that in and speak their heart's truth so there are two solid messages that are coming forth for the divine um masculine and the divine feminine the divine twin collection here um uh, because um uh, some of the twin flame journeys just go on a long span of time as much as we don't want them to go on a long span of time as much as 
we do want to experience this beauty and love now and share that love and beauty with others even though we know that this is what it is some of us are still not able to face that fear and take that step they will they will ultimately yes but sometimes they resist the journey a lot so it just depends upon how much each one of the twins is resisting let's look at some uh, messages of love from the divine masculine to the divine feminine release i did see the release card over there radical acceptance and surrender can help you uh, we started with the patience we got two of those um hanged man cards illumination i think one had flipped over rejection yeah so some of the divine feminines have been feeling like the divine masculine really rejected you but do know that this was actually divine protection because while you felt like this was a rejection you really went on your inner journey and for those who are just starting that out you will be going on this inner journey and you're headed towards being this mystic healer you're headed towards being this leader to be a beacon of light for others just accept this part and keep focusing on yourself be patient patience is one of the most important uh, virtues that we need to develop in this journey so some of the, um, and this is interesting, we got obsession. So perhaps for some of the divine uh, connections here, one, one of the parties may be actually obsessing. So meaning they may be in some unhealthy relationship or toxic behaviors. They may be some associations with drug, uh, alcohol abuse, or... Um, excess in sex so there's there's just compulsive behaviors that i'm seeing here that may be the part of a, a blockage right now in this union coming together so just be patient just be patient release how things should be or can be or would be and just be just be for some of you, there may be some children um, that either you or them they have, and that's part of what has been a um, possible block in a actual union. There may be responsibilities and, and other things that are taking place with that. Um, time alone in nature, we did get that, is going to help and bring healing in. Um, so again recharge and bring healing in angels that's what you need to do and for some of you um, this you may feel like that's your twin flame but it actually may not be your twin flame because if there is too much obsession look at for the flags that are showing up if it's not something that's healthy it's not something where there is respect and honor then that is not the right path or a relationship for you do watch out for any sorts of red flags in your existing relationship who you believe is your twin right now. And if there are certain signs, then you do need to pay attention to, um, to those that are coming up. Because that may be serving as a block because you're thinking that your current person is your twin and um, there are these obsessive thoughts and they, you've been seeing all these warning signs and yet they do mirror some of the twin flame signs and you end up believing that they are and you keep in that um, negative loop with them even though it is an unhealthy or a toxic relationship you're actually blocking and you might be in that karmic situation or relationship with this person and you might be blocking the actual coming in of the twin see i did say you know what i was thinking addiction while i wasn't reading what was said here is obsession definitely because i was giving you the signs for addiction so for some of you addictions are affecting your relationship right now in the union and this is a journey that the twin must take on their own they must they must release those lower vibrations for them to rise more in their power and love 
really they do so I do feel like for um, some of you that um, this may be an um, not the real twin that you've connected with and that um, and and to really release this current um, toxic relationship and allow healing to take place anything that's less than worthy is not what you deserve divine feminine you want that you're in that two of cups energy which is like a perfect soulmate loving relationship twin flame relationship this is what you're bringing healing in okay let's take some final messages from the romance angels soulmate i said soulmate and there is soulmate so if there have been warning signs and there's somebody you've connected with who is actually your karmic but you are feeling like they're your twin watch the red flags and let that go let that healing take place because this i told you this is like uh, twin flame soulmate energy and the first card we drew out is yes that's your soulmate that's coming in so either this person needs to go through this and is not your karmic it's your true twin but is going through releasing of obsessions and addictions and and all of these things once that healing takes place is when they'll be able to come to you but for those that you feel and know that this is not it because even through this addiction and obsession i just want this to be very clear that no twin is ever going to harm and hurt you so if you're in a harming and hurtful situation then that is not a twin flame journey okay it, this needs to be very very clear it's not a twin flame journey it's a journey of love yes they may be addicted they may be obsessions they may be all of those things that they are addicted to but that will they will still not be hurting you physically or abuse in that so be very careful of that Okay, so be very, very careful. It's maybe a message for some people. And um, if that is the case, and that is an abusive relationship, it needs to go. So that your true soulmate can come in. You have soul love here. Soul love has been coming in all my readings. All the time. Continue to love yourself, like you know, as you are connecting in nature there is that deep attraction and perhaps you've connected with a soulmate you've connected with your twin flame now and you have released who you thought was your twin i'll take two more messages and we'll close the reading out so be lighthearted, be playful okay and free yourself yeah see we got a lot of free yourself so there may be some patterns that people are feeling stuck and bound and this whole transition we did get the eight of swords there this is like the eight of swords so as the um people freed themselves and self-sabotaging thoughts there is an opening of the energy field and your twin is automatically you're going to magnetize that twin your twin to you just be lighthearted, be loving step in your power because i'm reading for both the masculine and the feminine uh, collective allow for that to come through so for some of you there will be a lot of shift a reconciliation playfulness attraction and the soulmate and coming together as there's a bridge that's being crossed and for some of you you may be releasing a karmic so that this new love can come forth for you so that your true love your true divine counterpart can step in for you but remember the key that i'm drawn to is this card here for the divine feminine collective that nothing less than nothing less than this is what you deserve you deserve the very best you deserve the highest love and the highest vibration that's why you're the twin flame so i send you love i send you healing i send you tremendous amount of growth and um may you rise in your power so i send you love and light this is archana